Hi, welcome back to Therapy Designs. If you're new to this channel, my name is Kelly and this channel is all about how to create print-on-demand designs using Canva. So if that is something that you're interested in, please do stick around. So in today's video, we're gonna be going over how to create this design right here. This one says warning official teenager, but I am discussing just in general warning signs and how you can go ahead and create this and scale this out. This particular warning sign, we had to do a few alterations to because I couldn't find quite the one I wanted. So we went over sort of how to erase words that were already on a warning sign, how to you know then add your own text and give it a little bit of a grunge look. So if you're interested, in uh, this design or this niche, go ahead and stick around. So as always, we're just gonna go ahead and start with our blank backdrop. This is 4,500 by 5,400 pixels. I am gonna be designing on black today. So as usual, we're just gonna start by clicking on our blank backdrop, coming up to the top left-hand corner where it says background color, and I'm gonna go ahead and select black. Um, now in today's video, I'm gonna be doing a little bit of a warning sign. Now there's a lot of fun words that you can put in that. Today we're gonna go pretty simple and we're just gonna go official teenager. But again, if you're making a warning sign, it is just gonna be something really funny. You can put any niche in there that you want or any um, kind of like meme or current meme. Just be careful. Uh, if you watched my video on Amazon rejects, I did have one of my warning signs rejected because apparently sarcasm didn't translate very well into some of the other markets. Um, so that's my caveat there. But let's go ahead and we're just gonna start by picking a warning sign that we're gonna use. So I'll go up to the top left hand corner where it says elements. I'm gonna select that and we're just gonna start by searching for warning signs. Okay, now lots of cool ways we can do with this. There are some photos, there are some graphics. I believe I started with graphics and so lots of different styles that you want. I'm looking for some sort of style like this where it can say warning there and then I can write something in the sign. So that one, that one. And so you can just sort of scroll down. Here's another one that works and so Find what you like. I do like something that's gonna give it more of a sort of a realistic and sort of grunge look. So you can scroll, try to find something that looks again, a little bit more maybe realistic or a little bit grungy look. Um, depends if you want it to be those bright colors or not, or if you want it to be a little bit more muted. And so there's lots of different ways we can go with this. And of course we can always create our own warning sign too. You can just pick some shapes. So you could pick a square shape or a triangle shape or something like that and, and just sort of fill it with a solid color and put some text on it that way. So many ways you could go with creating your own warning sign. And so as I'm searching through here, I'm not particularly loving my options. Let me go ahead and search photos and see if that's what I found. So here's another easy photo there for a warning sign. Here's some more warning signs, warning signs. If you find one of these that you like, again, we can always do a background removal to just get the sign. So lots of different ways. Here's kind of like the sign that I'm looking for, something like this, where it's got the danger and then I can write something here. Now I could go ahead and use this sign here right now. I could do a background removal. I could cover this up with white and then put my own text. So this is definitely an option. I was hoping to get one that had a little bit more of a worn or grunge look to it. But again, I can always create a grunge look by putting some grunge patterns over this. So lots of fun ways that I could go. So something like that, that's sort of the old grunge look that I'm, I'm looking for on what would be like an old sign. Um, keep looking see if I find anything that I particularly like. Here's another one. Now I like this one because it's got sort of that outline around it there. And so that's another one. I could do sort of the same idea here. And again, sometimes we have to search for a while. I know that there's one that I used that I really liked and I'm not entirely sure where I found it. Um, if I found it in the photos or if I found it in the graphics. Um, 
warning sign or if I put danger sign or if I just put sign. So sometimes you have to search a while to find the graphic you want. Here's just a plain one. Let's just try sign. Let me see what comes up with, with just sign. Lots of different ways you can go. By the way, you can always do some really cool just sign designs too. They don't necessarily have to be warning signs or, you know, any kind of funny sign would look kind of cool. And so those are all different signs that we could do. Not loving those. Let me go back to my graphics. I'm gonna see if there's one that I particularly liked. If not, like I said, with with shapes, we could pretty much make this from scratch too, by the way. There would be nothing stopping us from creating a sign like this totally from scratch. I was just hoping to make it a little faster and easier by having one that I liked that was already made for me, because that's always easier than having to make it on your own. But again, anything we can do, we can make on our own too. Okay, well, I don't know why I don't seem to be finding what I'm looking for. Sometimes I swear I go on here and I can find something easy. And then, you know, I come back a week later and search for it and I can't find it anywhere. And so I don't know if they just keep changing things or moving things, but I've definitely, you know, sometimes I can find things really easily and sometimes not so much. Um, I think as I'm looking at all of these options, what do I want? This one may be the easiest to work with just because it's already a graphic. But I do sort of like that this one has a little bit more rough edges. Let me change the background color on my shirt just to see. Okay, so I would have to do a little bit of a background removal on here because this does have a little bit of a black frame. Let's go ahead and just use this one because it's at least a little bit more realistic. Um, it's a photo, so let's start by, I'm gonna do a background removal so that I can get just the actual sign. So. I'm gonna edit image and do a little background removal quick, hopefully. Get rid of that black around the edge. Well, it did something I didn't expect it to do. It got rid of the black around the edge, but it also got rid of some of the black within the sign itself, which would give that sort of a see-through look. Now that's not a problem. That's actually really easy to restore. All we have to do is use the restore button. So if I go to restore, Give myself a nice big size here. I'm just gonna restore everything within the sign, but nothing outside of the sign. And so that is pretty easy to do. I can get a really quick, easy restore on the side here. And so that's pretty, pretty easy. Did that one okay? And then I can even do a little erase so it doesn't quite look, whoops, erase doesn't quite look like I got exactly the edges clean that I want. So again, I can get a little bit of an eraser tool and just sort of clean up the edges just a little bit. So if I missed anything, it's all right there. And if I make a mistake, you know, I can always zoom in, I can move this around. So come up to the top, looks like I want to just restore that just a little bit some of those edges there I'm okay with that being a little rough I can restore that a little bit come down again if I just want to restore there and then boom I think I'm just gonna do that so let's go ahead hit done we'll hit apply let me zoom out Give it a second for this to all finalize. And I think this is gonna be the sign that we're going with. Now I am gonna make some alterations to it. So the first thing I wanna do is I wanna get rid of this wording here because I wanna put my own wording. So an easy way to do that is literally just to cover it up. So I can put R on my keyboard. So if I hit R, it'll pull up a rectangle right here. So here's a nice rectangle that I can work with. And what I can do is I can match the color of the sign. So if I go ahead and um, select a little eyedropper feature right here, it says pick color from sign. I can pick that white color right there. And now I can take my rectangle and I'm gonna put it right over the top and pull it out so that it just 
covers that perfectly and boom. So that's what I did there and I just totally covered it. Now I can keep danger, I can change this again so I can cover this up with the red and put in my own words, which might be what I end up doing because I don't know that I want danger. I think I want it to say warning. Again, lots of different ways I can go with this, but let's say I wanna do the same thing here and just sort of cover that up too. So I can hit R on my keyboard again, pull up another rectangle. This time I want that rectangle to be that sort of red color. I'm gonna use my eyedrop feature to make sure I match it exactly and then of course with my rectangle i can just oops and if you accidentally move something before you freak out just hit the back button right here where it says undo it'll put everything back where it was and so we don't ever have to panic if we accidentally move something and then i can just do that there and make sure that's perfectly covered i know unfortunately that right there sort of has a little bit of a, a lighter look to it. I can also hit, by the way, C on my keyboard. So C on my keyboard will pull up a circle. And so if I ever needed to like blend things or kind of make a little nicer edge, I can do something like that. And so lots of ways we can go about sort of at least making it look like it matches a little bit more. So I'm gonna just sort of round that edge there so it's not quite so sharp. And so that looks pretty good right there. So now I have a blank warning sign. So here's my blank sign. And then what I wanna do is go ahead and give a grunge look to it all over. So let's just go ahead and just put grunge texture. Oops, and let's go with graphic here. And so here's a nice grunge texture that I can put over the whole thing. And I might need to do it more than once or I might need to put it over, you know, different spots. So I can pull this grunge texture so that it sort of covers up there. Double click, I'm gonna bring it up so that it's like that. So now I got some grunge over the top. I'm gonna to do it again. Maybe I want a little grunge texture down here too. This time I'm gonna change the color, maybe give it a little bit of a dark gray grunge. Again, I can pull it out as much as I want, you know, and so I can crop it however I want. I can even put some of the black up here so it just sort of overlaps a little bit. So let's say I did that. And now I'm gonna crop this down so that it pretty much covers the whole sign, but I don't want it to go out, something like that. And so you can see how you can sort of give a grunge look to your sign. So lots of different ways. I could add some splatter. I could add some other grunge effects here. I could add different colors. I could throw some browns in there. Um, just lots of easy things I could do to sort of just give it that grungy feel. If I wanted to give it sort of a rust feel there, maybe I throw in some sort of rusty colors. So maybe something more along the lines of some browns, some rusty browns, more oranges, something in there. And anyways, so that's how you can go ahead, you know, make things grunge, make them as grunge or as not grunge as you want. Um, perfect. Okay. Once you got your grungy sign the way you want it, I can go ahead and group this whole thing together so the sign is saved. So by clicking anywhere outside of the sign, so I'm just going to go ahead left click anywhere outside of the sign, drag over the whole thing, and now it's all together. If I come up here where there's three little dots, I can hit group. There we go, my sign is now grouped together. So now I have a sign that I can work with and I can put any text in it that I want. Once I have the sign the way I want it, I just reuse the sign for all of the designs. So I can put warning and then I can put whatever text I want and then just repeat the process, warning and then whatever text I want and just keep repeating. So let's say I'm gonna go ahead, blow that up so it's nice and big. Now I'm gonna be picking my text. I do want it to be something that's gonna be a little grungy. So starting up here, this one, and this one, the color I'm gonna go with, is gonna be that one there, and the font that I'm gonna go with. There's several sort of grunge distressed fonts. Um, 
I sort of liked some of that typewritery font too. I kind of know the one that I'm looking for. Special Elite is a good one here. And so what I can do is I can put warning and make that nice and big. Perfect. Center that there. And again, I can always use the keys on my keyboard to put it exactly where I want it if it's not exactly where I want it. Sorry, my dog's going crazy upstairs again. And so there is my warning. And then I can go ahead and pick my text for the sign down here. So I'm going to click T on my T board again. I got another text box. And this one's just going to say, let's say official and then teenager. It's a really common one. Official teenager, don't know why. Oops, there we go. And now again, I can pick a different font down here. I still want something that's a little bit grungy. So lots of ways to go with this. You can see um, I want it to be a little bit different than that. So I want it to be a little bit bolder. Let's start back up with the top. See what I have here. Greenwich grunge is a good one there. Rustic stamp, that's a little bit too faded. I need it to be sort of dark and solid. Uh, my bold one is pretty good. I have to really bring the line spacing close together. And I think that's not quite gonna work because I need it to be wider, so not quite as narrow. So I'm looking for something pretty solid, a little bit more wide. And so sometimes you just have to play around. Um, looking for something a little dark, a little wide. I think that's the one that I liked there, Grimper Rust. Yeah, so I can make that nice and big. And then, whoop. there we go. It says warning, an official teenager. Again, I like it. And then I can just scale this out to say warning just about anything I want. Um, again, if I want those to be a little bit closer together, the lines, I can bring that line spacing in, bring this down just a little bit. So there we go. I can group this all together now too, if I want to, just to make sure I've got everything centered in the page. Oops, there's group. And now I can go ahead and try to just move this whole thing so that it looks relatively centered. And it's not quite centered the way I want it. So that's a little bit closer there. Okay. Good enough. So there is your warning sign. And again, tons of different ways we can go with this. I did have one that, by the way, that said warning in my head, I've already killed you three times. Real funny, it worked out really well on the US marketplaces. As soon as I translated it to other languages, I got instantly rejected as saying that I was promoting violence and hatred because sarcasm clearly doesn't go across very well in some of the translations. So just be careful with what you put. Um, just because it is not trademarked does not mean it is safe on Amazon. So um, always just go ahead and test it out on one or two products first before you enable everything just to be on the safer side. If you do have any questions about this technique or about anything related to print on demand, go ahead, drop them in the comment section below. I try to get back to it as quickly as I can. Um, again, if you're liking this channel, go ahead, hit like and subscribe. Um, it does help me. I'm a growing channel. And if there's anything else that you would like to see featured on this channel, again, go ahead, put it in the comment section below. I will try to get back to you as quickly as I'm able to. I hope your sales are going well. I hope you guys get some good ideas of things that you can start creating and ways that you can start scaling things out. Um, and again, I hope to see you. Uh, I hope to see you next week. That's it for today's video. If you found this useful and would like to see more videos with helpful tips and tricks, be sure to hit like and subscribe and turn on your notifications so you don't miss any of the weekly videos. As always, keep growing and stay creative and we'll see you next time.